Buenas tardes, amigos y amigas. ¿Qué pasa? It is Dave here again with another installment of Practice Score. A number of questions have been asked on the website over the course of the day today regarding what I would term special circumstances with respect to scoring shooters in Practice Score. The questions that were asked are these. Number one, what happens if we enter the correct scores for the incorrect shooter? Number two, how do we deal with changing a shooter's division? Say for sake of discussion that a production division shooter pulls a mag out of their front pocket and has to get moved into open. And number three, how do we deal with a drama queen? Somebody who has an objection to the way their, their stage was scored and refuses to press save or commit their scores to the match. We'll deal with those scores or with those uh, questions in turn here, and we're going to do so in a video format. My hope is that this will both be illuminating and educational for the masses as well as be dispositive of the questions that were asked for those that have asked them. As you can see, we are once again in our PowerPoint demo match. We're on Ipsic Alberta MT-01, that's Ipsic Alberta's Master Tablet 01, and we have the Practice Score main menu displayed. So let's deal with the first question first. What happens if we enter the correct scores for the incorrect shooter? So let's go ahead and build that little scenario. Let's enter some scores. We select enter scores from the main menu. For sake of discussion, we're dealing with stage five, squad number one, and the competitors assigned to squad one are displayed. First shooter up is Marge Simpson. Marge steps up to the line, but the range officer or the chief range officer fat fingers the, the tablet and selects the wrong shooter. Marge loads and makes ready. Beep! Off she goes. She's finished. Unload and show clear. Range officer starts calling out the time and the scores. Let's say that Marge shot this stage in 12.54 seconds. Time has been correctly entered. We're presented with the, uh, the stage scoring detail. We'll just quickly enter some scores for Marge's pass on the paper targets. All of the steel targets were shot. Down here, lower left hand corner, stage status is complete. All of the required scoring hits have been satisfied. Range officer goes to review the scores and presents the scoring summary to Marge. Marge takes a look, notes 14 alphas, 2 charlies, all in a time of 12.54 seconds. Those scores are otherwise correctly entered, but Marge is a sharp cookie and she recognizes that those scores have been attributed to the wrong shooter, Peter Parker. In this scenario, that is to say, prior to Marge pressing save, and committing her scores to the match, it's been noted that the wrong shooter is selected. Simple solution at this point. Up here, upper right hand corner just below the speaker icon, a little three dot menu. Selecting that menu presents us with the option of reassigning those scores to another shooter. Now keep in mind, in this scenario, Marge has not yet committed her scores to the match. Range officer selects reassign to another shooter. We're presented with a list of the shooters. These scores actually belong to Marge Simpson. We select Marge off the list, keeping in mind that Marge would have otherwise committed these scores had they been attributed to her. Selecting Marge commits those scores to the match. However, they are now committed to the correct shooter or on behalf of the correct shooter, Marge Simpson. 14 alphas, 2 charlies, all in a time of 12.54 seconds. In that scenario, the shooter recognized that the scores were incorrectly attributed, and prior to saving those scores or committing them to the match, the correction was made. In the event that a shooter does not recognize that their scores have been attributed to the wrong shooter, and those scores get committed to the match, we can fix that, but it's a slightly more detailed process. Next shooter up is Peter Parker. They call Peter Parker to the line, but the range officer or the chief range officer selects the incorrect shooter from the squad list. Nobody's any the wiser. Peter Parker shoots. His time is correctly entered. Scoring detail is correctly entered. Four steel, two alpha, two alpha, two alpha, alpha Charlie, two alpha, alpha Charlie. 
All of the required scoring hits have been satisfied. Stage status is complete. We go to review those scores. Tablet gets turned around. Peter Parker takes a look at the scoring summary. 14 alphas, two Charlies, all in 11.52 seconds. Peter Parker, who is Spider-Man, by the way, is ecstatic with that pass. Can't wait to press save and commit those scores to the match. We're now returned to the squad list. And the range officer or the chief range officer now notices that it was Peter Parker that just shot, but it's indicating that his pass on this stage is incomplete. Uh-oh. The scores were attributed to the wrong shooter. They were attributed to Love Master instead of Peter Parker. How do we deal with that? Go back into the Love Master's scoring summary and notice from the little tiny three dot menu in the upper right hand corner we are yet again presented with the option of reassigning those scores to another shooter we select that option list of available shooters is displayed these scores actually belong to Peter Parker we select Peter Parker from the list and those scores are now correctly attributed to Peter Parker notice however that the love master also shows scores and is indicated as green, indicating that he has successfully completed the stage. That's incorrect. We call the Love Master to the line, select him from the list, but we're presented with scores already. Incorrect scores, however. So, Love Master shoots, Range Officer selects Edit, and the simplest way to deal with this in this scenario is to quickly zero out all of the scoring detail that was incorrectly entered. Range officer calls out the time for the Love Master's pass. We enter the scoring detail. All of the required scoring hits have been satisfied. We select review. Now we see something that looks a little bit different. Down here at the bottom, under scoring history, we have the scores that were shot by Peter Parker, but incorrectly attributed to the Love Master. At the top, we have the new scores that were just entered on behalf of Love Master. Love Master takes a look at those scores, 16 alpha, all in a time of 12.32 seconds. He's satisfied that those are correct, and he submits uh, or selects save and commits those scores to the match. Now the Love Master's got the appropriate scores attributed. Peter Parker has the appropriate scores attributed. There is one difference. Notice over here on the right hand side, little red icon next to Love Master, indicating that there is one additional set of scores in the Love Master's history. We can go back and review his scores. Now the correct scores are listed as current. Those are the scores that will be used for the tabulation of standings and overall match results. But practice score, keeps a history. Down here under scoring history, we can see the pass that was shot by Peter Parker but incorrectly attributed to Love Master. It's here, it's displayed for administrative purposes, but only the current scores, that is to say, the scores that the Love Master actually shot will be used for tabulation of overall match results and, and match standings. Two different scenarios there. The first, Shooter recognizes that their scores have been incorrectly attributed to another shooter, and they make that determination prior to saving their scores. Simple enough, we select Reassign to another shooter from the menu, and those scores are correctly attributed. In the event that the shooter commits their scores, prior to it being determined that those scores were being um, uh, committed for a different shooter, we still have the option of changing it, but after doing so, it results in the display of a score history. Not a big deal, and for the purposes of scoring, only the current scores are used for the tabulation of match results. The second question that was asked, how do we deal with changing a particular shooter's division? Let's say that we're shooting this time, well, let's go back to stage five. This time, squad two, and on squad two, uh, we don't have any production division shooters on squad two. Let's check squad three. 
Ah, we do. Dirty Harry is shooting in production. We select Dirty Harry. Harry gets up, shoots his stage. 14.32 seconds. We score the stage. However, during Harry's attempt at stage five, he draws a magazine from his front pocket and the chief range officer determines that Harry needs to be moved into open division. We've scored the stage as shot. Notice that the status is complete. We review those scores. Harry takes a look. He's satisfied that 14 alphas, two Charlies and 14.32 seconds is correct and he commits those scores to the match by selecting save. Now, we need to move Harry from production division into open division. Using the back button in the upper left hand corner, we go back to the main menu, we select edit shooters, we find Dirty Harry in the list, we select Dirty Harry, His competitor record is displayed. And notice here, division, we have the option of selecting division and changing Harry's division to open. Of course, he'll be shooting minor in open. We save, return to the list of shooters. Now, just to confirm that Harry has actually been moved into open division, we'll just quickly take a look at results. Match scores by division. I'll blow this up just a little bit here so we can see. And notice, right here, Dirty Harry is now listed as being um, uh, competing in open division. So that takes care of how we would move a competitor from one division to another if required. The third question that was asked, how do we deal with a drama queen, someone who refuses to enter their scores or commit their scores to the match because they have a protest of some sort about how their score was, uh, was entered onto the tablet. Let's build that little scenario. We enter scores. Uh, let's pick stage five again, just because we're already working in it. Let's pick squad two. On squad two, say for, um, for purposes of this little demo or this little scenario, Mahatma Gandhi is the shooter. So the Mahatma gets up to the line, load and make ready. Off he goes. Beep! Unload and show clear. Range officer calls out the time. 15.63 seconds. Time has been correctly entered. The Mahatma shot all the steel. Go ahead and score the paper targets. Uh oh, there's a Charlie. Looks like that passive resistance thing ain't working out. Down here, status indicates complete. All of the required hits have been satisfied. We go ahead and review the scores. The Mahatma takes a look. 15 alphas, one Charlie, but he doesn't like the Charlie. He appeals to the range officer. The range officer whips out his overlay, places it on the target and says, sorry Mahatma, that's a Charlie. The Mahatma says, I appreciate your point of view, sir. However, I request a second opinion and I will appeal to the chief range officer. The range officer agrees that that is the Mahatma's prerogative and beckons the chief range officer who attends, looks at the target and says, sorry, Mahatma, that right there is a Charlie, brother. The Mahatma is not satisfied with the chief range officer's opinion either and says, thank you all very kindly for your input. However, I will appeal further to the range master. The range master is called, but the range master is currently firing up the barbecue and putting the Coca-Colas on ice and can't attend immediately. That presents a problem. We need to continue with the rest of the squad. We got to get this thing moving because top clock is ticking. We're left with a circumstance where the Mahatma has refused to commit his scores to the match. He has a protest, but we need to move on. Here's how we'll handle it. The chief range officer or the range officer on the Mahatma's behalf, will save those scores, reassuring the Mahatma that in the event that the range master does attend and makes an alternate call, we have the option of changing his scores to satisfy his complaint. Next competitor shoots, let's say it's Mother Teresa. 
It's a pretty holy squad we got working here. Mother Teresa burns this sucker down. All A's. Status is complete. Review the scores. Mother Teresa's happy with it. She commits save. So, the target was pulled, was passed to the range master. The range master has made a ruling and determined that the Mahatma did in fact get an alpha. We have the option of going back to the Mahatma's scores. We can edit those scores. Noting that the range master ruled that the Charlie scored on target 4 was in fact an alpha, we can zero that target line by pressing on the appropriate target number. We can enter the scores as now having been determined by the range master as 2 alpha. We can review those scores. The Mahatma now has an opportunity to take a look. He's satisfied that he's been given the appropriate scores. He's got 16 alphas. And he can save those scores to the match. So now, note, again, here on the right-hand side, we have a little red indicator that there is a scoring history for the Mahatma. Let's take a look. His initial pass, or initial score, shall we say, under scoring history, shows the 15 alphas and one Charlie, but the Mahatma protested. The range master made a ruling, determined that that Charlie was in fact an alpha, the scores were edited, the appropriate scores have now been attributed to the Mahatma, 16 alphas, he's happy, he committed that to the match, those are his current scores. For the purposes of, of overall match results and the tabulation of standings, it is only the current results that will be used. I trust that all of that, in, in what I hope is somewhat less than a rambling fashion, addresses the questions that have been asked today on the website. Those questions were, how do we deal with the correct scores being entered for the incorrect shooter? How do we change a shooter's division? And what happens if a, if a drama queen refuses to commit their scores to the match? In that latter circumstance, those scores will need to be committed, but the competitor must be reassured that there will be recompense, there will be some recourse for, uh, uh, for changing those scores should there be problems. I hope all of that stuff makes sense. Thank you all very kindly for your attention. See ya!